In our first tutorial, we looked at our document structure and the HTML tags which are required to make the page actually work. In this tutorial, we will be looking at a few of the very basic tags needed to get you started on constructing your own web page. We are still using Notepad as our editor, but will within a few tutorials start trying out a few others. So let's get started. The tags you now see are the tags we learned last time. I've already saved this document as a HTML file and the only difference from our first tutorial is the title. This time the title is My Genealogy Website 1 which you can see on the top of Notepad and also in the browser window. Now the first tag I'm going to introduce is the headline tag. If you look at online newspapers or any other web page, you will almost always find a headline. And making a headline is done with the following tags. H as in headline and uh, the number here we're going to come back to. But for now, H1, headline. And we end our tag here. Let's uh, save our document and update uh, our browser and we see our headline. Let's go into uh, Notepad again and make one more headline. This time we're going to call it H2. And uh, let's uh, save and go into the browser. F5 is uh, the key to uh, hit to uh, make your browser update itself. And you see now we have another headline, but it's not the same size. OK, back to Notepad. Now you have six headlines to work with. The H1 tag gives you the largest headline and H6 gives you the smallest headline. Let's um, paste in the rest of them. Exactly the same, only we have three, four, five and six and they all have the ending tag with a slash in the front of the H. And that's all the headlines you have, where you have H1 here as the largest and uh, H6 as the smallest. And if we wanted to play some ordinary text here, I'll just call this uh, headline and let's uh, save the document update the browser and you see that your ordinary text here will come somewhere in between the H3 and H4 headline actually maybe even in between the H4 and H5 headline that's uh, what we had about uh, headlines and uh, for the sake of our document we are going to use headline 2 and we are going to call it genealogy now the text that I'm pasting in here in our document is uh, copied from uh, Wikipedia and it has to do with uh, genealogy and the text itself is uh, not important. Here we have 16 lines of text and for every line I have used uh, the enter key. Now we didn't really need to do that. Uh, we do have word wrap in notepad 
and Microsoft Word does the word wrap automatically for you but when you display this file in the browser window the line breaks that we have introduced by using the enter key is ignored by the browser the browser wraps the text only at the end of uh, the window space and if I make this window smaller it keeps wrapping the text which actually is a very good thing because we don't know what kind of uh, screen size uh, the audience has now if we view our source code we see that the line breaks that uh, I have entered from before are still here so let's try to make even more space between our lines save we update uh, the browser and as you can see nothing happens So this we are going to manipulate a little bit in our source code. First of all, we are going to make uh, these paragraphs here. And the tag to do that is uh, a P tag. Now the P tag defines a paragraph and uh, the P element automatically creates some space before and after itself. The space is automatically applied by the browser and in later tutorials we're going to specify it in a style sheet. But we have now a P in the beginning of our paragraph and we are going to place a P in the end of the paragraph. And we will do the same thing with this paragraph. Like this. When we now look at our document or web page, we see that we have paragraphs. Now the text still wraps but our paragraphs stay. Now let's make this into a um, H3 heading. Update uh, the browser. And now we have a lot of words here that we want uh, on different lines. And to do that, we are going to use something called a line break. The tag for a line break is BR. And the tag inserts a single line break. And do not use it to create paragraphs, just line breaks. Now, there is a difference between HTML and XHTML and also the future HTML5 concerning this tag. In uh, HTML, the BR tag has no end tag. In XHTML and the future HTML5, this tag must be properly closed, like this. So from now on, this is the way we're going to do this.